So, I'm about to make a miniature vlog today on Lime Street in Camden. I am visiting the house where Joe Slovo and his wife Ruth first lived in London as they ran the South African Communist Party and the ANC back in the day. And for all those who were not from South Africa, Joseph Slovo and Ruth first were like of Jewish descent, that their ancestors came from the Baltics. I think Ruth had Lat Latvian blood and uh, Joseph Slova had Lithuanian. They were both Ashkenazi Jewish, but they were also communists. And they were persecuted by the South African police force because of their beliefs, their support for the ANC, and for, you know, wanting a rainbow nation of South Africa. So they came to live in London. And this house here, number 13, no, sorry, yeah, or 14, either one of these like, houses. And they lived here from 1966 to 1978. And this is where they ran the operations. This is where they welcomed in like freedom fighters from the, who were escaping from South Africa. I'm pretty sure people like Donald Woods and the guys who escaped the Pretoria prison came here. But, um, you see, Ruth first, she went to live in Mozambique later on and she was killed by a mail bomb the South African police force posted to her in 1982. Uh, Mozambique had been free of uh, Portuguese colonialism, so she thought it was a good idea to stay like um, close to South Africa and um, so she called Mozambique her home. And as a matter of fact, she was killed in August 1982 on the same day as one of my best South African friends in the whole world and uh, Joseph Slovo he did end up going to back to South Africa when everything had finished when apartheid had died and he died in South Africa so Joe Slovo is buried somewhere in South Africa I've seen his tombstone but Ruth first she rests in Mozambique so this is a really iconic house you know English heritage it's a blue plaque they only put these blue plaques up 20 years after somebody has died. So I'm feeling quite honored to be, you know, a Marxist, a fighter against imperialism, to stand at the front door where Ruth First and Joseph Slovo called their home for many years in London. Now, a funny story that I was reading in the book by, uh, the guy who escaped from Victoria Jail, like when the South African police force interrogated them, the, they were saying, we should be targeting the people in London who are living in luxurious Manchester, like mansions, and they are like, you know, supporting the ANC in exile. But the South African police force, they never ever attacked any ANC office in London. I mean, they killed a Dalek September in Paris, and they tried to kill another member in exile in Belgium. But um, there was even claims that the South African uh, police force was responsible for the death of uh, Olive Palm. There were so many like conspiracy theories that he was killed by the South African like defense force because. Um, Olive Palm had a meeting with Oliver Tambo and spoke against like apartheid and I, I, I've also heard that like Oliver Palm was always in support of the Southern African liberation movements. Like one day Olive Palm was in Zambia, he stood on near the Victoria Falls on the border and he said this is a border of human decency. He said it while with the president of Zambia, Kenneth Canal.